Hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is the last day of November 2021 and I am coming to you today with some empties. I do have some candles. I have quite a bit of Scentsy because I have been trying to work through um, some of my stash in anticipation for Bring Back My Bar, which is coming in January. And I do have some, um, some vendor wax and a couple pieces of other retail wax. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the candles. So first of all, we had a single wick, and this is not finished because I just am not a real big fan of this scent. Uh, this is Bath & Body Works Midnight Snow, and I've heard a lot of people love this. So um, I'm sorry, this is just not my scent preference, kind of on the cologne side for me. This is described as juniper berries, cedar wood, and soft lavender. And to me, this is more the astringent type of juniper berries. So kind of on the on the cologne side for me, it has burned very well, and I got a good throw from it in a small room. I could certainly smell it. It was about an eight in a small room, and for a single wick, that's doing really well. So a good performer, just not necessarily my scent preference. So that's White Barn Midnight Snow. Next up, we had Fall Farm Stand from um, Homeworks, and I loved this. So I did receive this in a giveaway from Homeworks, which was sponsored by my friend Lee Ann, who is Southern Comfort One on YouTube and on um, Instagram, and I thank them both. It was a very generous giveaway. So this is a beautiful candle, and it burned flawlessly. Plus, I love this scent. Very fresh fall produce. So it's described as sugared apple, golden pear, vanilla bean, and honey. And you do get the honey. I love honey and wax. So if you don't care for honey and wax, you might not love this scent. But very fresh. It's like I just took a bite out of a nice fresh apple, a nice fresh pear, and then maybe someone's selling honey at that stand and they've, they've been pouring some onto toast for people to taste it. I love this set. It was rich and full, really strong. This filled my home. Probably the best, one of the best performing Homeworks candles I've ever had. So I love this one. And again, it burned very well. Got a little bit sooty at the finish. You can see in the wax there. I did trim the wet wicks just barely, just enough if there was a little sooty end on the, on the tip. But um, really a, a good burn didn't get much schmutz on the side and I would highly recommend fall farm stand next up we had now normally these little Kringle daylight candles which are one and a half ounces I normally melt these as wax melts but this one I just decided to go ahead and burn and this was snow-capped Fraser so just like it sounds very much a tree scent and uh, with kind of a, an ozonic layer on top from, uh, I guess, mimicking that fresh, fall, fresh fallen snow. Burned great, put itself out, um, but this could have been stronger. I was surprised. Normally these little daylights blow me out of the house, but this one was a little on the light side. So um, I don't know if I just got a different batch, uh, but anyway, normally these are quite strong. This one was not, and that was snow-capped Fraser. By the way, back here we have the December Scentsy Warmer of the Month, which is called Nature's Wonders, 25 watt bulb warmer. I absolutely love that. Next up from Kringle was Cinnamon Sugar Donut, and this was in the Three Wick Parasoy formulation, and I did enjoy the label with all the little donuts. So just like it sounds, a fried dough and then a nice sweet cinnamon, not a fiery cinnamon, more of a baking cinnamon. Um, this one did real well for the first half, and then I really did struggle with soot. Um, and sometimes this parasoy formulation does soot. Um, I kept the wicks trimmed lightly. I didn't over-trim them. But as you can see, this did get sooty to where I wasn't enjoying the fragrance anymore because it smelt burnt. So I, I really do prefer their soy formula, and um, I would get the parasoy again, but I don't know that I'm going to get that first. I prefer their soy formulation. So that was cinnamon sugar donut, and the scent itself was lovely. And finally from Kringle, and this was also a little bit sooty, but oh, this fragrance. This is um, pumpkin peppercorn, which was from the um, fall slash winter set. This was a two-wick soy, and this one is described as pumpkin, cassia leaf, apple, cinnamon, clove, and peppercorn. So you certainly do get that nice mixture of spices, and the peppercorn takes the lead with the pumpkin. 
vanilla, ginger root, and caramel. So this is a beautiful soft pumpkin with a zing of peppercorn. I love the scent. Now this also did, it burned very nicely, put itself out. As you can see, went all the way down to the wick clips. I did have a little bit of sooting with this, despite its being a soy formulation. Some of this is where I, bent, you know, would tip this to use my lighter, but some of this is just soot. That's just, there's just no way around it. So not perfection in the, in the um, performance, but it burned well. And it wasn't as sooty as our friend Cinnamon Sugar Donut. So I still am going with the soy formula as my favorite from Kringle. So that was pumpkin peppercorn, and I have repurchased this. So that was my candle set for the past few weeks. I'm not sure when my last empties video was, but it does. That's not real important. You weren't sitting there marking it on the calendar, were you? Okay, so next up we have, I'm going to do Scentsy. And I have quite a bit of Scentsy, so I will try to move along here because we're already at six minutes. So uh, I have gotten through most of one of the holiday bricks in vanilla cinnamon maple. I love this scent. Um, I have two cubes left, and this is just like it sounds. It is a beautiful baking cinnamon, a lovely creamy vanilla, and just enough maple to make it sweet and have that maple scent without being overpowering. I don't like when maple takes over the world and it smells like pancake syrup. It does not smell like that. This is a beautiful blend. I enjoy this. Now, this is strong for a few hours and then it does taper off. This was about a seven to an eight in my home. Beautiful, it's certainly present, it fills the room, but it's not going to knock you over. Um, I frankly prefer a fragrance to be about a seven and an eight. Um, very strong for about five hours and then it did, it did tend to taper off and be a little bit of a, a softer fragrance. I love this and I would repurchase it, but I'm trying not to buy any more bricks. We'll see if I can do that. That was vanilla cinnamon maple. Next up is fluffy fleece. And yes, this is finished. Not because I melted all of it. I did melt some of it. I made samples with most of it. And I did give some to friends. This is described as black currant, musk, and heliotrope. And heliotrope is cherry, almond, vanilla, and licorice. And this is a very um, laundry-esque um, cotton type of scent. It's airy and um, sort of sweater weather vibe-ish, and a lot of people love this. This is not my favorite. Um, it, I think it's beautifully blended, but this is not my scent preference. So, But a lot of people love this, and that's Fluffy Fleece. Next up, we have Sweet Orange Pomander, and I don't mean to grumble, but this one really is not my favorite either. I love the smell of a pomander ball, but wow, this is all about the red hot cinnamon. However, my husband loves this. So yes, we did get through all of this, and a lot of it was used for sample making. Um, the description, I'll just go, I'm going to not be able to read everything here. We'll be here all, all night. Sweet Orange Pomander, Red Hot Cinnamon, Clove Cinnamon Stick, and Sweet Orange. So yeah, um, you do get the orange. Um, it is very, very fiery cinnamon. So not my scent preference, but my husband loves it. Um, my dear friend Diane here in Cincinnati loves this. And um, it, uh, many people have raved about it. So that's sweet orange pomander. Okay, next up I finished two peppermint dreams. I love this. this is from last year's Bring Back My Bar. This smells like, a to me, a Girl Scout cookie thin mint absolutely love this and I have a few more of those remaining I got through I think three possibly only two of apple s'mores which you know I grumble about the name this should be named marshmallow apple cedar there is no s'more in this thing but it is a beautiful woody cedar creamy marshmallow um, and zing sweet apple scent I love this you may recall last year I bought 17 bars of this in the clearance. Was that overdoing it? Perhaps. But I am down to six. I have been melting these steadily throughout the year. I love this. And I'm glad I still have six of those. So that's Apple S'mores. Next up I have two Black Currant Bubbly. Black Currant Bubbly is just like it sounds. Black Currant and an effervescent note. This is beautiful. I love black currant scent. It's that dark red fruit and then the, the zippiness of the, uh, of the soda pop in there. Just delicious. That is a good little performer. 
very strong and long lasting. Next up, we had two, I believe, yes, of icicles and evergreen. Oh, this is such a beautiful scent. So this was scent of the month for November, and the scent notes are blue eucalyptus, which is eucalyptus mint and lime, then pine needles, and crystallized sugar. So this is a, a softer tree scent. It is sweet. You do get a bit of that mint and lime. And the eucalyptus is in the background. It by no means takes over the world. So this is just a gorgeous tree scent, and it's a little bit different with that uh, blue eucalyptus in there. I love this. So two bars of that. Um, I have a bar of vanilla oud. I did complete all of these, by the way. I've been a bit on a bit of a campaign because I have a lot of scentsy bars. Okay, vanilla oud. Oh, this is so creamy and beautiful. Oud wood is a rich, slightly sweet wood, and with the creaminess of the vanilla, this is all kind of gorgeous. I think I have one more bar of this, and um, then I'm going to have to meter that out very slowly because I love that fragrance. Also a very good performer finished a bar of appealing apple which was scent of the month a few months back i really love this this is apple pear and sweet pea and i prefer this to johnny appleseed which i also love but this has such a lovely sweetness this is a good performer and long lasting days go by and you can still smell this throughout the home beautiful Next we have vanilla bourbon. This is a beautiful, kind of a, a bakery scent, uh, very gourmand. It has a bourbon, uh, bourbon note without being boozy and a very creamy vanilla. Love that one. I have two more bars of that. Next up we have cozy cardigan. I finished, by the way, I finished all of these, so I, I won't keep saying that. Um, cozy cardigan is um, a big fan favorite, but not a favorite of mine. This is described as suede, rose, and amber silk. And to me, this is um, just, again, it has sort of a cotton vibe that I'm not a real big fan of. Also heavily amber, but this is a big fan favorite. Good performer, strength and throw of nine. Um, scent preference for me, only about a six. So that's Cozy Cardigan. Next up, we have Toasted Acorn and Oak. I love this. Uh, this was from, I believe, the, uh, the Harvest Trio. This has very a very nutty, chestnutty note to it and a creaminess. I love this. You must love chestnut fragrances, though, I think, to enjoy this. Uh, again, it's, it's got that nuttiness. I really like this. Next, we have Winterberry Apple Tea, a perpetual favorite. We have this available right now in counter cleaner, in body care, um, and in wax. And it is just all over the map in our different scent formats. So Winterberry's Apple and then a Spiced um, Tea. This is a gorgeous scent. Good performer, long-lasting, adore. So I will always have that. And here's another Apple S'mores. I thought I had three of those. So, oh yeah, I made progress with Apple S'mores. And finally, I think this is the last Scentsy. A cranberry Pumpkin Spice, which was from the Harvest Trio. This is a beautiful blend. The nice tart cranberry, soft pumpkin, and just the right amount of baking spice. That is a beautiful fragrance, and I hope that one comes back. Really like that. Okay, um, next up we have um, Kringle, and I have rather a few of these, so I'm, I will try to speak quickly. We have, these were wax melts. I bought quite a few of them, and I have had great success with their wax melts. Good performance. Aurum and Evergreen, this is a new fragrance this year. Aurum means gold, and you do see gold in these beautiful labels and Evergreen. So the scent notes here, um, I probably should not read all of these, but this is like a fruit and then an Evergreen. Aurum fragrance oil is fruity floral. So this has grapefruit, Valencia orange, pomegranate, Siberian fur. I love this. And this was a good performer, a nine uh, strength and throw, and a 10 for me in, in uh, appeal. Really like that. Aurum and Evergreen. Another beautiful one is Juniper and Laurel, which is another new scent this year from Kringle. This is a beautiful um, evergreen and juniper scent, and the juniper is not biting. So if laurel leaves, eucalyptus, white juniper, jasmine, silver spruce, patchouli, cedar, and pine cone. So this is a soft, 
evergreen note with the, um, the sweetness of the juniper without having that astringent note. And then the patchouli and the cedar just give it a warmth. This is gorgeous. Don't be afraid of that patchouli. It's giving it an earthiness without um, being head chop. Love, love, love. And I have repurchased both of those. Midnight Snow, another one I liked very well. Um, this was in the Country Candle line, which is colored wax. And these are all uh, paraffin, these melts. So this one uh, really took me by surprise. I didn't care for it the first half hour, and then I fell in love with it. So it's, it's um, mint, it has spearmint, evergreen, cedar, and then fern and moss. So at first it was very ozonic, and I thought, oh boy, you know, it's going to be cologne But then the spearmint, and it wasn't like a gum spearmint. It was more like the leaves, not so sweet. Oh, it was just gorgeous mixed with the fern. This was really lovely and different. So it's Midnight Snow. White Chocolate Chai, and I think I have two of these. Um, this is beautifully done. Um, yes, here I do have two of these. Beautifully done. Absolutely smells like an authentic of uh, chai from the Indian restaurant, not overly sweet, and you did get the cardamom. The white chocolate with it, um, I don't know, it came off a little chalky for me, so it had great strength and throw. I don't think I would repurchase this. I would rather drink this than smell this. It, um, it was very authentic, and I love chai. Okay, next up is Snowy Bridge. Beautiful, and look at these labels. Oh, I just sit and stare at them. So this one, also beautiful. This is uh, citron, frosted fir, juniper, silver spruce, jasmine, vanilla, vanilla, and patchouli. So it was a very earthy tree scent. Um, I was The citron gave it a nice zip in the background, and then the patchouli it wasn't, again, not head shop, and it just gave it that warmth behind it. This was beautiful. Good performer. I was very pleased with these, um, these wax melts. Pumpkin cheesecake, just like it sounds like, and absolutely decadent. I love that. Great performance. Probably one of my most favorites is iced citrus. This is a beautiful lemon zest. So you give peppermint, lemon, and fir tree. Uh, then we have verbena and sugar, grapefruit, vanilla, and what does that say? The last word there, I have absolutely no idea. Crushed mint leaves, there it is. So it's like you have the mulled mint leaves that you've crushed them, put a little bit of um, sugar with them, and then the peppermint and lemon. Oh, this is just spectacular. And I have bought many, many clamshells of this. Not 17, but many. That's iced citrus. From Country Candle was um, Cranberry Orange, great performer, just like it sounds, sweet and tart at the same time, 10 out of 10 on throw, good longevity, I love this, and also have repurchased that one. Old St. Nick, now Old St. Nick, I was not as big a fan as I recall. Um, sandalwood vanilla, cedar citrus vanilla, and musk. Yeah, this was heavy on the musk. A seven to eight performance, so it was fine, medium high, but only about a seven in scent appeal for me. Old St. Nick was just a little too musky. Musky, been hanging out with the reindeer. So uh, yeah, just the not, not my scent preference, but it was blended well. From Country Candle, First Fallen Snow, this was gorgeous. So this was very fresh. Uh, this is berries, petty grain, which is bitter orange, clove leaf, bayberry, iced raspberry, winter mint, spruce, sugar cane, and vanilla bean. So kind of like the scent notes from Black, uh, Bath & Body Works Winter, only better. I really like this, and the bitter orange was what stood out for me. Love that. Just a few more of these. Um, November, B-R-R-R. -R -R. Uh, and look at this label. Oh, with the leaves. That's just gorgeous. So this one's lavender, citrus, peppermint, spearmint, amber, and birch. So reading that, I thought I would lose my mind over this one. It was about, uh, it, for me, a medium-like. Uh, seven to eight in strength and throw, so that was fine. To me, this was just, it was blended so well that none of the notes particularly stood out, and the resulting blend was fine, but I, I wouldn't go out of my way to get this one again. I liked it. It was, it was a good performer. That was November. And then two uh, last ones. This was a wax melt. This is a single wax melt. It comes in a little tub like that. This was pumpkin latte, just like it sounds. 
um, not overly sweet coffee blend with pumpkin. I enjoyed that. I, did, I didn't love it. I liked it. And then Silver Bells, and again, these labels from the Country Candle line. And this was beautiful. This one was described as grapefruit, nutmeg, pine cone, and, uh, and orange. So this was citrusy, evergreen, and then with the nutmeg, it was different. So often you get clove. This one was uh, a little bit different. I really like this. Uh, performance was a 9 out of 10 strength and throw and a 10 on scent appeal. That was Silver Bells. Beautiful. And lastly, and th this is not Kringle. This is a Yankee Candle Wax Melt Single Snow Dusted Bayberry Leaf. This was beautiful. This was a gift from my friend Rebecca on Instagram, The Wax Files. And thank you, Dumpling, for that. And this was 15 out of 10 strength and throw. I hid it in the utility room, took over the whole house. I love Bayberry, and this was a beautiful scent that I would definitely repurchase. Okay, we are at 21 minutes, and I think this phone will give me 23. So in the last two, I have a destination wax. I'm going to read these very quickly. I finished three foil pan small loaves in strawberry seeds, which is so sweet and authentic, and you do just taste those little greenness from the seeds. Beautiful. Kale salad, which is like a peppery lettuce blend. So beautiful. 15 out of 10 strength and throw. And wedding cake, which is a beautiful white cake with like a layer of strawberry jam. Gorgeous performance. I love it. I will always repurchase that. We had winter citrus wreath, which is a lot like Bath and Body Works. Winter only better. Um, 10 out of 10 throw. 10 strength appeal for me. This was gorgeous. And the grapefruit was just just impeccable. Um, banana and apple bread. Oh, that was so good. I love banana, and this was beautiful. Um, 20, 221B Baker Street, which, as we know, is Sherlock Holmes' address. This is uh, pipe tobacco, a little bit of cherry, leather, and vanilla. Oh, this was so beautiful, so comforting. Uh, excellent strength and throw, and I loved it. I will have to get a loaf in that, but I'm trying not to overbuy, you know? Lavender Black Amber, this was gorgeous. Uh, Rebecca is my go-to vendor for all things lavender. And that Black Amber was just beautiful. It has a little patchouli in it. I really liked that. It, was, it had a depth to it that I enjoyed. Peony Petals, this was a lot like Homeworks um, Enchanted Peony. Beautiful fragrance and um, excellent strength and throw. Autumn, a lot like Bath and Body Works Autumn, only to me it was even better. Very fresh and sweet. Vanilla Birch, this one got a little perfumey as it wore on. I loved the scent. I don't think I would repurchase that one necessarily. And Vanilla Noel, which is like um, Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel, this was so beautiful, I have no words. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please hug your families. Like and subscribe and take care. Thank you. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.